And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Shivana, our last donation deck of the day. Um, this one's going to be a deck that we've played a couple of times before, but has been updated and looks pretty strong. We're going to be um, playing a lot of two mana cards. That's going to be a real big theme of our deck, 17 two mana cards, so that by like turn three, we can already have, you know, we'll have six mana by turn three, so we can play three two mana cards. Um, you know, maybe like we play, uh, you know, like an Egghead Researcher on turn two, and then turn three we can play like a Dragon Guard Lieutenant plus a two mana spell, for example. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have lots of lots of two mana cards, uh, but then curving out and uh, winning with some Rally and some Overwhelm. We're going triple Zenith Blade for the Overwhelm for the Dragons. Cause that's gonna be awesome with Shivana, how Shivana can grow really big with the attacking and everything. Also great with, with uh, Screeching Dragon and Scythria. Because you know how like with Scythria, they usually throw a really small blocker in front of Scythria because then they have to have their larger blockers block all the fearsome stuff. And so giving Scythria Overwhelm uh, can be really awesome. And then we're gonna have some Rally. We're gonna have Dragon Guard Lookout with, with a, a little bit of Rally, one Relentless Pursuit in there. So we will be able to attack multiple times Eclipse Dragon's another great thing with the Zenith Blade. Uh, that's going to be our deck. So we're going to play some Lucian Shivana on over in Ranked. And we're going to be trying to get a 5-0 with this because, as you can see, we have been going up with two and then three and then four wins. And so now we're going to be trying for five wins. All right, and the first one is going to be against... Oh, yeah, and then, of course, of course Lucian getting extra attacks as well with leveled up Lucian and Lucian's champion spell. So we're playing against Gohard. We're going to mulligan the Concerted Strike against the Gohard deck. And I'm keeping I'm keeping the champions. Dragon Guard Lieutenant does a good job of killing Twisted Fate. So I think I'm going to keep it as well, even though it's not something that I'm going to want to play early. I like the Egghead Researcher. That's a good card to play on turn two. Yeah, it doesn't die to, to go hard. I don't know about that block. I don't know. Cool, the Egghead Researcher got, we at least got the Gohard out of their hand. So I like that. If I play Lucian, they can gold card Lucian next turn with the Twisted Fate. I don't know, I don't really like my options right here. Where do you stand on cold shots? Push back to darkness. Or at least now they can't have Dreadway. You know, with the three mana, they could also have had like Dread. You know, another Dreadway deck and another Go Hard. Couldn't have that with just the two mana. Okay, so that was the card they they that was the free card they got with the Pool Shark. We are incentivized, of course, to keep on playing some more dragons, getting towards this Dragon Guard Lookout. Is it a dragon? Yeah, Dragon Guard Lookout next turn could be pretty nice. Deal me in. Something for all. Good red card. Get rid of that spell shield. Suffer my fury. You got legs. Use them. That twist of fate card's always so great. Boards a little bit louder than others. Whoa, burn two go hards. Alright, so they had four in the deck. Because they already played one, so they just burned two, so there's only two more in the deck. Man, we are drawing way too many concerned strikes. I wish this was like Citrus Courier that healed three. What's the fire breath this time? Hmm? A soul 
soldier should know to stay out of the way. I'm gonna play Repose to save Lucian. And so therefore we're gonna Dragon Guard Lookout next turn. We could definitely level up the Lucian, potentially, you know, like with two Dragon Guard Lieutenants dying. Whoa. Whoa. So they're not gonna have anything to block there. This this Dragon Guard lookout looks like this this may end the game. <laughs> I guess you can win them. They only have three mana. Sure, they have a million cards and a level up Twisted Fate, but I think this Dragon Guard lookout. Yeah, they're they're dead. Soak it in. Oh, yeah, I guess they could have two Gohards. There's only three left in their deck, but they have to, they did just draw a million cards. So if they have two Gohards... Oh, wait, is this just not lethal, though? Yeah, this is just lethal anyway. Yeah. Alright, GG's. Okay, now this time with Noxus. So this was the, uh, you know, kind of like Twisted Fate Swain, but Twisted Fate Gangplank. A big time deck before. Go hard. This is tough. I think I actually mulligan the Senna's. Is it like they're going to be, you know, like a lot of Powder Keg, Make It Rain, that kind of stuff. We all about them concerted strikes, though. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. I like this. You started without me. The dead don't need riches. You wouldn't think it, but we're we're playing a lot of two mana spells. Sharp sights, fail cascades, single combats, all that kind of stuff. You wouldn't think it with how we only it seems like we only have two spells in our deck, just considered strike and reposed. Alright, great opener for them. But we got a lot of cards. Some good fours. Let's get to it. This is a gift of a block. <laughs> One mana bill, Cascade. Talk about broken. One mana bill, Cascade. That point of damage helps their Gangplank level up. Surprised they didn't do... I mean, I guess they didn't do gold cards. They wanted to help... Yeah, gold... They, yeah, red card just helps the Gangplank level up. Me 
Man, they do not like gold card. Yeah, they've had a great hand. Another lost. Fifteen. Hmm. We have so many repose and concerted strikes every game. It's like that's all we can draw. Repose concerted strike. Let's do this. Show them what we're made of. I guess that... Alright, so is that their last Death Sand? I should have done the damage the other way, because I don't think this is going to help the Shivana level up. Okay, no, it, okay, yeah, it struck for it struck for the four. Okay. Because even though the Senate did the damage first, but I guess they both do damage, I don't know. So put me down to five if I don't block. Can I go down to five? Look lively, soldier. I think I have to. I think I need Lucian and... Yeah, I think I really need, like, Lucian and, uh, Senna in play. That's actually a good draw. So Lucian attacks first, because if they use a removal spell or something like that, they're, they're going to want to kill the Lucian. So I can have, I can have like my strafe, I can have strafing strike, have Senna kill like the spray fin. And then, and you know, like level up Lucian that way. If I want. That Lucian's Relentless Pursuit was good. You fight or you swim! Travel before me! This isn't part of the training! I'm gonna go with the leveled up Lucian. I know I could have I could have like fought with the Shivana first. I was a little worried about like uh, ravenous flock from them and things like that. I'm always up for a round or two. Red card. They just have decimate. This is so close. I've got your back.
I don't know exactly. Yeah, I don't don't know exactly what I'm playing around. I go around the screeching dragon. It's the hardest thing for them to kill. Or of course we can set up screeching dragon, lethal. We have it like challenge something small. We have like the strafing strike, all that kind of stuff. They, you know, they're not playing like the three mana stun, uh, the stun spider. Infinite mind splitter. All right, that'll do. Took a scenic route to get there. There's probably a faster way for me to do it, like with the, the strafing strikes and everything before, but took the scenic route, ended up getting there. Facing some Ezreal Swain. Oh, I've been doing good against Ezreal Swain today. The Zenith Blade is just going to be mulligan like all the time. It's a good, it's a good finisher, but nothing that we need early. It's kind of like the same with the Relentless Pursuit. Like they're just cars that you just always mulligan. Uh. Concerted Strike is the one that I'm kind of questioning. I think we'll mulligan it. We, we've been doing a great job of drawing Concerted Strikes. It's something that we you kind of need for like an, a Swain or a Leviathan or even like killing an Ezreal. We have single combat though, so that's good. I basically just want to have some kind of protection for Lucian from, like, Mystic Shot. Alright, so two Death's Hand. Not going to take out down the Shivana. Now we will be able to attack, give it another plus again, make it a 7-2. So they spent two cards and accomplished nothing. I don't draw. But it's still worth putting another, you know, basically getting another uh, Sh Shivana. Come on, play Ezreal. Play Ezreal. Alright, we'll take Chump Wump. That will level up Shivana. So now Shivana attacks, gets plus two, plus two. So the protector helps against flock. Um, so I think I play it because that's that's like the difference is basically a ravenous flock. If they have if they have like the thing that destroys a damaged enemy, that's gonna stop it either way. I guess they're they're also a deck that plays the three two that stuns, and so that that would be a bad reason to play protector. I guess I'm just gonna attack. It's really just ravenous flock that protector helps with. They're down to six. Discarded mushroom cloud, of course. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. In a world full of monsters, I'm glad I have you. That'll never change. This does allow them to play like an Ezreal, and I don't have my strafing strike, but that's okay. We got a Lucian and a uh, Lucian and a Senna in play. Lucian. 
Cool. Another Shivana. what I was thinking they were going to do. And then I do this. Perfect. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. And there we go. GG's. Because they're not going to be able to kill. Both of these are going to be lethal. Because remember, the Senna has double attack. So they're, they're not going to be able to deal both of those for the open attack. All right, our next game is against Gohard. All right, we're going to have our Lucian Shivana v. Gohard. So I I definitely like three cards, you know, like these three in the opener. I'm not sure if I want to keep the second Shivana or not. Because uh, the Shivana champion spell doesn't really do anything. But if they have removal for the first Shivana, I got a backup. All right, let's mulligan the second Shivana. Oh, my least favorite card, the Lens Pursuit. Could be a good finisher later. But not something we're going to need early. I do like Zenith Blade in this matchup a whole lot. This is like the matchup for Zenith Blade. Um, There's a chill in the air. There's a chill in the air. We play in bilge rules, son. Burn away the shadows. Has anybody ever played against a Gohard deck where they don't have Go Gohard right away? So not fiddling with any of the other champions, just Twisted Fate. So that Chronicler of Ruin, that was the free card they got from the Pool Shark. So it looks like they are opting to play. That, so they get another additional free card. Nah, let's play a Screeching Dragon. I'm not leveling up the Shivana anyway. I mean, I guess I could have had the Screeching Dragon challenge first, but Shivana's not going to level up. Well, it's not Ruination. That's good. I, so basically, I think the Shivana is more valuable than the Screeching Dragon, so that if they... Um, If they were going to vengeance something, I would rather than vengeance the Screeching Dragon right there. That's probably bad for me. I was planning on playing Relentless Pursuit this turn. Planning on playing Relentless Pursuit. Now they've played three Gohards.
Please, not another one. Let me go to my turn. Please, please, please. Pretty please. Yay. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this one now. Great, that is that's great to see. That's not you know not a vengeance on the Shivana. So that's great to see. So now to six. So they probably have a pack your bags. You can win them all. But I should still kill them through Packer Bags. I mean, these these spells aren't lethal right now. I didn't have the Concerted Strike. That was gonna do six extra damage with with a Concerted Strike and a Sharp Sight. I think that's. That could be five extra damage. I don't think it was going to be six. One one from Fury, two from getting rid of the blocker, and then two from this. I guess oh, I guess, I guess if the Twisted Fate was... I guess if, if the Twisted Fate's a 3-3, three, three, I guess it could have been. Yeah, I was thinking like Twisted Fate 2-2, two, two, not leveled up Twisted Fate. But yeah, I just, I just rally there, and they can't, they can't stop that anymore with three mana like we're good all right last one another go hard deck can we beat go hard again and finish the 5-0 and, and finish the ladder up two three four five okay let's see protector is gonna get mulliganed senna maybe mulliganed we're keeping researcher the attack token turn three Maybe Lieutenant, but Lieutenant could be really necessary to kill Twisted Fate. So I go Researcher on two, Senna on three. Powder K Gohard is just so rough for keeping Senna, and even just Twisted Fate Gold Card. Maybe we'll just keep the Lieutenant and Mulligan those. Really want Shivana. You know, like, these other two games, we've had Shivana, and Shivana's been, has just been amazing. Shivana is the card I need. Don't love this hand. Um, Zenith Blade would be good. Wow, double three one. Lieutenant. Have you brought a specimen from the field? We let you keep the egg. Be content with that. I'll do better this time. How bothersome. Guard the walls! Here they come! 2-2 two, two or 3-1? Three, 3-1 one. Three, one can't block. Guard the walls! Three one. There's a chill in the air. I think I twist a fake gold card. I think I single combat. I am bilge fools. You pay. I talk to spirits. They survive off. No room for doubt. Hurts no Shivana and no Screeching Dragon and no Zenith Blade. Definitely all cards I really wanted.
I know they can now kill Lucian, but they could just kill Lucian the next turn anyway. I'm not going to be using a Riposte to save it. Could have single combated, but it, these things are valuable enough. The spray fin though is pretty valuable. With the spray fin basically being unblockable. Give us some room. No closer. Set him off. In a long path to get you. Maybe I should block the one one. I only save one life. I could just kill that one one. Maybe I should block that. Be nothing left when I'm done. No, do not draw two cards. What? Aren't you supposed to cast Go Hard first and put two more copies into your deck first before you draw two cards? So you have a better chance of drawing the Packer Bags? It's unlikely that they have another go hard in hand this turn. Follow my lead. I feel like it's more likely that that's ruination. Where do you stand on cold shots? I don't think it's packer bags. I think it's ruination. And or vengeance. Yeah, I think that Packer Bags would be pretty obvious to play. They're not playing it. I think it's Ruination. Or Vengeance. Yeah, like one of those two. Come so far. But, just in case it was Ruination, didn't want to play the Senna yet. Alright, so this is the free card. Awesome. I want to Nightfall this Eclipse Dragon. It's not going to be easy to Nightfall that Eclipse Dragon, though. I mean, I could, so I could just throw away Repost. I could throw away Repost and then go Nightfall. Or I wait till next turn. Next turn I go Egghead Research or Eclipse Dragon, but then it's like I'm not really doing anything for this turn. Soak it in. Because that also means I don't get to play Egghead Researcher this turn. I'm not just throwing away repost. Let's go Zenith Blade. Trosa Fates at two. Letros. Come on. So my plan was to play Warrior Challenge Twisted Fate, but I guess I just have to Concerted Strike the Ledros. Because this will... if. This will have them spend 9 mana again next turn to play Ledros. So they're not really doing other stuff. They're spending 9 mana on Ledros. Next turn, also, it, it grows the Eclipse Dragon to be a 9 10. This is Something the I want to keep that. Like, this is kind of good for me if they're not going wide. That's good for me. I mean, that's just the wrong block. They should just block the other way. This could be a 10-9 dragon instead of a 10-10. That was just the 
That was just the wrong block. Your king uh. That does two damage to me. They're gonna do this. Because then I can pill cast. This allows me to pill cascade. Okay. I say because if if they would have like vengeance to kill my dragon, we could have that. We could pill cascade, draw a card. Um, and then have Concerted Strike available, also, you know, both single combat and Concerted Strike. So we, you know, I didn't want to take away my option of drawing into Concerted Strike. Supposed to play Imperion. I'm gonna say no on the Imperion, but if they have anything that removes my Eclipse Dragon, I lose. Guess I should have played Imperion. That was the card I couldn't beat. Yeah, Conserve plus Pale is eight damage. They're at nine. I can't turn on. I can't turn on Nightfall. I can't draw a card. Yeah, that's, that's why I was definitely considering playing Imperion, because I lost a Vengeance. The Warrior does a Taff Fury, it doesn't grow. Yeah, it doesn't turn on Nightfall. Zarn. Blue as the I had to play that first and then hope... I had, I had to play that first. I had to hope that they then played something else so that I got priority again afterwards and then could fell Cascade. That's what I had to hope. So they played something else in response to my Concerted Strike. And then I could fell Cascade and then draw into another pump spell. Could draw a Rally. Rally? Man, that would've been what a what if we drew Relentless Pursuit right here? How clutch would that have been? Only fools play the hand they're dealt. Man, think of how clutch that would have been if we would have just drawn Relentless Pursuit. Was that their second Vengeance? We've played against so many Gohards here, I don't... I've kind of lost track. I don't know how many Vengeance they played this game. Alright, so we went 4-1. and one. Still an awesome record. We had a pretty, pretty bad hand, too. And we still came that close to winning. Zenith played was really the real deal like in those games it definitely underrated the zenith play that um you know almost got us there super close um but there we go so that's that's lucian shivana um pretty awesome deck yeah so i, I like the shivanas and the dragons and things like that these days and i think you know yesterday i played the Callista shivana deck that i made and i didn't play zenith blade and i think that's a that was my problem i think with these go hard decks i think zenith blades a clutch i think it's really key and we saw it help us win, like, the games that we won, it was a big part of us winning. And even that last game of, um, it was a big part of us almost winning that last game. So close.
All right, but still really good results there with the 4-1. Very impressive. Um, yeah, definitely learned that Zenith Blade with these dragons looked like the thing to be doing. And uh, looked good against a lot of other decks as well. All right, so there, there we go. That's Lucian Shivana. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.